Hi, Dick Denistas, Clara here. Welcome to the channel, Public Shopping Addict. Always so nice to see my Dick Denistas, and thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the latest PSA. It's always good to, to see all of you, and I hope all of you are doing great and well. And uh, yeah, so I figure on this lazy afternoon, I figure I would do a unboxing. Probably this is gonna be the first of many unboxings because this these are things that I picked up over the Black Friday, well, weekend. Uh, dare say really week because they all these all these emails just came out pretty much earlier than Black Friday. So it was like a week long of shopping and I yeah, I went uh, a little uh, haywire with the Black Friday sales because it was really good this year so yeah so I'm gonna be pretty busy so if like if you're new to this channel and you're just stumbling across and you want to see everything that this one picked up uh, over Black Friday uh, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so when I upload the rest of my goodies you will be in the know so um, I figured let me start off with the smallest of the many boxes that I, I have currently. I thought I wanted to start off with this one. And it happens to be a brand that I do not have much of in my, uh, in my collection. And it happens to be Kate Spade. Now the only thing I have in Kate Spade is a oversized pouch that I showed on one of my PSAs that I picked up from TJ Maxx uh, a while ago. And I'm trying to think if I have a Kate Spade bag, but I don't even think I have any Kate Spade uh, bags or anything like that. Because I've been too busy buying every other kind of bag. But but anyway, so let me just show you everything, uh, well, two items that I picked up from uh, Bloomingdale's. They're both Kate Spade. Uh, they uh, they shipped it separately. They did um, this little item in this bag, and then the bag is in this one. So I am going to start off with the bag that I got. Uh, here I did open it already because I just wanted to dive in and pull it out and I have the uh, Receipt here and this was I don't know if they have this still in the um, on the website or If it's still on sale, but I got this for a really good uh, price which this I paid $25 for so yeah, I was pretty excited about that. Oh, it's very nice. It actually did um, provide a coupon as well. So I get to take off an additional 15%. Uh, so thank you. No, don't thank me. Thank you, Bloomingdale's. Because I get a feeling I'll be back at Bloomingdale's. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. So let's check out what's in here, which uh, I am really excited about. And, ooh. Look how pretty this is. So there you go, and that's the information. And let me just take it out of, of course, this uh, plastic packaging so you can see what it is. And it does have a name for it. Uh, there it is. And let's just slide it, and there you go. How pretty is this? This is actually called the Spencer leather card case in the pattern is called black multi and i actually paid 25 dollars for this it was on sale look how pretty that is with the raised lettering uh kate spade on it and it's obviously black base with the polka dots and it has i like that oval shape most most of the card case card cases are like straight this one has that cute little oval uh shape on top it has the Kate Spade uh, heart right there in the back. That is so cute. You almost could kind of miss it with all those dots. And uh, it has four slots. So you have one and you have two. So you have two slots for cards and you have another two in the front as well. And then you have this main compartment right here. And it does have the uh, paperwork oh, or rather you know the ticket now this retails for um, $50 it was as I said I got it for 50% off so I actually paid $25 for this cutie case spade car case and this is really adorable it's like a really nice size and 
you could definitely fit this in a lot of bags. And I got this uh, specifically as well since I saw it, it was on sale. I did get it to go with the bag that I picked up. So I'm um, really happy about that. And uh, yeah, she is really, really cute. I love it. I love the quality and everything about it. And yeah, she is really pretty. And of course, uh, I do have, uh, it's not RFID protected, but I do have uh, credit card sleeves where I can uh, put my credit cards in and then I can put them in here. So that should look really, really cute in there. So happy about this little cutie case bay. And this is like, uh, as I mentioned, the Spencer uh, leather car case in black multi. So that is number one now we're gonna go to number two which came in the box uh separately from the card case i do like the way they put the uh tape on it and it does say on the box get happy so we are about to get happy because i'm very excited to see this bag now this bag is uh from uh like i said kate spade it's it's not outlet it's you know obviously because bloomingdale's it's retail so this is uh what you will find at a maybe at a i'm sure kate spade has at her retail shop and i know it's kind of relatively new as well like it's a new um a new collection because it comes in other types of bags as well but i picked it up on in this one and oh they sent me another thank you card and another yeah 15 percent off so yes two i'll take that i'll take every coupon that i can get all right let's grab my receipt here and uh yeah and i'm really happy about this because like i said i paid 50 percent for this it was 50 percent off and I was like loving it and I said, well, if I'm gonna use, you know, try K Spade, I think this would be the, the nicest, uh, the best way to start right now. So let's pull it out of the bag and see what we have. And then we just pull, pull it out like this and, oh, is she lovely or is she lovely? I saw this online, this quilting, drew me in like a butter, like a moth to a flame. Um, I just fell in love with this. And you know, this is like her signature um, little thing there that she has. And uh, I, I fell in love. And this is like such a cute size crossbody. And the leather feels amazing. Oh my goodness, it is like, I, I, it, I'm not sure if it's lamb leather, but it feels really, really good. And this is called the uh, Kate Spade, New York, Bloom, small leather camera bag in the color black. So it is your typical size camera bag, which every designer has a camera bag, but this black quilting just drew me in. So uh, we do have the um, crossbody here, which I am going to actually remove because uh, I plan to keep this cutie for the price that I paid. Uh, she's definitely a keeper and let me actually show you her ticket so here's her information she retails for two uh, 58 it was 50% off so I did pick up this bag for 129 and uh, yeah she is definitely well worth 129 and I can see if anyone was really compelled to pay retail for this at 258 I think it's a good deal too because this leather is really amazing but we are gonna dive in a little more and see uh, what we have so let me just pull off the paper and stuff and let's uh, dive in and see what she has okay so I remove this and let's remove this and there you go and she is so pretty. Look at that zipper pull. The zipper pull is absolutely beautiful. It says Kate Spade. It has the gold tone uh, hardware. It has this beautiful uh, gold uh, tone ring. And I love that flatness. Like, can you see how flat that is? Instead of rounded, it almost has like that square C ring going uh, on. And then it has it on both sides. And this is your bottom 
And of course, I am going to note the size to this beauty. She's beautiful. And she has the quilting in the front with the Kate Spade New York uh, um, right there, her logo, the lettering uh, on it, raised lettering. And then you have the back side, which is the same quilting, and it has this uh, back pocket, which I'm gonna pull off this paper and show you the inside to that. And it's really, really pretty. I love that it's pink. So it's like a nice bright interior. So let's dig into the back because I'm really excited to see the inside to this beauty. So she stuffed pretty well. And she does come with a, a dust cover right there. So I'm just gonna remove it. And it is in cloth. So there you have it. Really nice size. So it's gonna go in well uh, in there. And let's remove all this stuffing. So the inside is a nice bright pink interior. It has the Kate Spade right there the spade uh logo and it does have a zipper pocket and when you open this up this is what it looks like and there her information is in here so it does have the little kate spade booklet as well which i'm gonna put back in and then on this side the side opposite you uh has this slip in pocket so you have a nice slip in pocket there really really pretty i love it so cute such a nice perfect size and oh let me remove the little paper off the zipper pull and you'll see that it has a uh, leather zipper pull as well so there is that leather zipper pull very very pretty now it did come with um, the strap which I'm going to pull and the strap is very pretty and the strap I love the strap because it's a combination of the chain and the leather, which um, I think is just appropriate. It's so perfect for a crossbody. So let's take this out. This is a beautiful strap. I love it. Uh, the, the chain is actually very pretty. It's a very substantial chain. Look how beautiful that is. It looks like uh, jewelry. Beautifully done. It's not flimsy. It's a nice nice weight to it not too heavy and definitely not flimsy cute uh clips i love these clips very nice and it does say uh kate spade on it so you see kate spade on the clips and beautiful leather for the rest of the strap and it is adjustable let me just show you how it's adjustable there beautiful leather and it does have this kind of button closure and it has this peg to insert through it's gonna be a little difficult right now this is gonna probably take a little work to put but at least it will stay intact once you uh, secure it inside the hole so it's like one of those pegs kind of groove kind of uh, a button closure but very pretty and the the leather is very very nice on this so really happy with uh, the strap and it is a nice long length so I'll definitely will um, put it on and insert some mod shots so you can see what the bag looks like because it is very very pretty and it is like a really nice size and the strap looks pretty decent in terms of uh, using it as a cross and we're gonna see what we can put inside this cutie bloom crossbody bag and i'm going to start off with the card case that i purchased um because i bought it specifically to go with this and i am going to put it in the slip-in pocket and it fits nicely in the slip-in pocket and i'm going to do i'm going to put, put pretty much in here like my whack essentials which is my wallet accessories cell phones and keys but i am going to start off with the wallet the cell phone and the keys and then the accessory will be whatever i can fit into this little crossbody so we have the car case i do have my cell phone case because i am using my cell phone so this is the case to a samsung 10 plus and i can fit that in the bag easily with no problem and plenty of room look at that yeah so that fits in nicely and i do have my keys which i am using my coach uh six key 
uh, key case that I've been I've had it I've been using it for a while already and I really just love this case and I think it looks really cute with this like why not all right so let's put this in here and see how that looks all right so we have my keys my cell phone and my car case now if I don't want to use a car case and say you have more of a a little bit larger I am using this Vera Bradley um, uh, like a little mini wallet and this is like typical size and right now I have in here some cash and I have some credit cards and some coins and it's a really nice size and should fit in here with no problem so let's put that in and see and there you have it so I put in the wallet the keys and my cell phone I haven't used this pocket uh, the slip and pocket so that's kind of empty right now but I am going to put in there uh, I do have my car keys because I I figure I probably would need my car key so I'm gonna just remove it right now and put that in the little slip in pocket although I probably could put it in the in the um, no actually I, I was gonna put it in the zipper pocket but it feels a little tight so I'm gonna put it in the slip in pocket so I put in my car keys, uh, which is a keyless remote entry. So I put it in that slip and pocket. I do have a little lip gloss because I figure of anything, I will carry a lip gloss with me. So this I'm gonna put in there as well. And I probably would also throw in a mirror, which I could probably throw into a little mirror inside with the, with the keys in the slip and pocket. But there goes my, my lip gloss. So in this bag, I have my uh, lip gloss, I have my wallet, I have my cell phone, and I have my keys. And it fits really, really nice. I haven't even used the back pocket, and that closes beautifully. And it fits perfectly in here. And probably back here, what I could probably put, I could probably uh, put maybe like tissues in here or just use this, keep it empty and throw in like uh, receipts or maybe tickets or anything like that that I might accumulate. Like if I'm going to the movies or something, I could just put it back here. But if it's, uh, it's, when it comes to my essentials, which is basically my wallet, my cell phone, my keys and lip gloss and things of that nature, it does fit. So um, yeah, she is really, really pretty. I am so happy that I picked up this beauty for the price of $129 and in addition to the car case. I mean, it's like so cute. And I, like I said, I know this uh, design, this Bloom design. Uh, uh, and on, let me see, on, on Bloomingdale's website and I think Macy's website, they have other kinds of bags with this uh, bloom uh, design so it's like a part of a collection I imagine and uh, it'd be nice if they had it in a wallet or something like that but I'm sure it's gonna surface somewhere but this is my starter so I started off my Kate Spade collection with a beauty I love the way this leather feels oh my god it's so nice and smooth and it feels so good and it's such a really nice Size. It reminds me a little bit of the size like Tory Burch, but really, really pretty. And I, I love this quilting. I think this is just so classic. And I can't even imagine like this will go out of style because quilting and these cute little flower petals. I mean, it's it's timeless and classic. And there's this uh, this will just not this will not get old. This will always be. Every time I pull it out, it's gonna be like a really pleasant surprise. And along with the car case. So yeah, so that is basically everything I got for Kate Spade for my first time with Bloomingdale. I do have other things uh, to show. I also picked up uh, something else from Bloomingdale that I have. So I hope to get to that and I have a few other things and like one or two things on, on route to me as well. All right, so that takes care of this Kate Spade. I hope you enjoyed this PSA. And if you like, I hope you do pick up your Kate Spade uh, Bloom. If not if not in the crossbody, I think they had something else. I can't recall, but 
they did have a really other pretty back. But anyway. Alright, Dick Denises, thank you so much for hanging out with me as I did this unboxing from Bloomingdale's Kate Spade. I'm really happy with what I got. And uh, yeah, and I hope to see all of you soon again. I will be doing a few unboxings and hopefully a bit more of what's in my bags because I do have some bags that I am eager to use, especially for the month of December. All right, and uh, yeah, and then uh, we'll just continue the fun. All right, Dick Denistas, until the next one, please be safe, stay well, love one another, and I'll check you out on the next PSA. Take care now. Bye.